What's up, y'all? It is September 17th, 2019, and I want to address uh, a lot of people out there that asked me why I was angry during my Philadelphia Eagles rant. Listen, you guys, the reason why I was mad, upset, like, is because I am, of course, I'm, you know, like, as a, as an Eagle hater, as a Cowboy fan, of course, I'm happy about it. But the reason why I was so livid, I was so outraged over the Eagles game was because all off season we had to deal with the media saying the Eagles are this, the Eagles are that, the Eagles are this, the Eagles are that. They're Super Bowl contenders. They have the deepest roster. They have everything. They have the best quarterback, best O-line. Uh, they're going to have a great running back uh, committee led by Jordan Howard. They have so many weapons in Dallas Goddard and Zach Ertz and Deshaun ja Jackson, Nelson Aguilar, Alshon Jeffrey. Their defensive line is stacked. Everything is the best. You got Eagles fans all over the Cowboys forum saying that PFF ranked us number one and all this stuff. You Everywhere you go, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you look at uh, Skip and Shannon Undisputed, you look at um, uh, Speak for Yourself on Fox, you look at uh, First Take ESPN, You everywhere you look, Everyone is picking the Eagles to win the division, to be Super Bowl contenders, to be uh, the winners out of the NFC. You have everyone saying this. And the thing is, even if I wasn't a Cowboy fan, I would still say, hey, you need to pump the brakes because this team has a history, an extensive injury history. OK, and just because they won the Super Bowl two years ago does not mean that's going to carry over. There are a lot of things that changed since then, namely the quarterback, namely the quarterback. Can you really depend on Carson Wentz when you had to have a backup quarterback and Nick Foles win it for you? Can you really depend on that guy? So when you have the news media bombarding you with all this eagle propaganda and on top of that they like to disparage the Dallas Cowboys like the Dallas Cowboys you know don't have weapons the Cowboys didn't win the division last year like the Cowboys they just speak about the Cowboys like they ain't shit treat Dak Prescott like shit but you got them crowning the Eagles before they before the the season even started that's why I was outraged because this is going to win you the Super Bowl. This is your sexy Super Bowl pick. A team that struggled against the Redskins that were down 17 to nothing at the half and then lost to an average Falcons team who we beat last year, by the way. We beat them last year in their building. Okay. And you have this, the, the greatest team on the planet or whatever, the deepest team ever. And you know what, 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 and, and the thing is, let me finish before I get on that. They're the deepest team, but they lose to the Falcons who were just embarrassed by the Minnesota Vikings in week one. An average team beat you. Uh, a below average team drove you to the brink in the Redskins. And you want to claim that you're the best. And also, on top of that, you um, you have all these fans now claiming injuries. And, oh, we did, Carson Winston didn't have any weapons. Everybody was hurt. You're supposed to be the deepest team. That's another claim that you guys made. You're supposed to be the deepest team in the league. So injuries shouldn't affect you. But now you want to complain about injuries. And supposedly, you're the deepest team in the league. That's what Eagles fans said. That's what the media said. That's what all of them said. All of them said that. And now you want to complain about injuries. What happened to next man up? What happened to that? You know, when the Cowboys lost Ezekiel Elliott to suspension and when our offensive line was decimated back in 2017, we weren't afforded those same excuses. But now you want them. That's why I was outraged. That's why I was pissed. Of course, I'm happy that the Eagles lost. Oh, yeah. They're getting their comeuppance. But still, when the media bombards you with this team is this, this team is that, and you know that it's all bullshit, of course you're going to be upset. 
because you're finally vindicated. You're finally proven right. And everybody like to say, well, it's only two games. You can tell a lot about a team in the first two games. I don't care what anybody says. You know when a team is good or when a team is phony. We all know the Chiefs are going to be good. We all know the Patriots are going to be good. We all know the Miami Dolphins are going to be bad. We know the New York Jets are going to be bad. So when people say, oh, it's only two games in, you can't tell. You can tell. If you're a true football fan and you've been watching the NFL for a long time, you can see who are the good teams and who are the bad teams. You can see it. That's why I was like, oh, my God, this team, this Cowboys team is looking great after week one against the Giants. You want to know why? Because even though the Giants are a horrible team, we dominated them. You can't dominate them any better than what we did. You cannot. We could throw at will, run at will. We could do whatever we wanted. And you can tell a lot about a team just by how they perform in the first couple of weeks. You can. Now, not every team fires on all cylinders throughout the year. And, of course, you have to deal with injuries. But at the same time, you know who's real and you know who's it, who isn't. You do. If you're a true football fan, you can see it. So when I see the Eagles struggle against the Redskins and then when I see them lose to a team in Atlanta who is average at best... Of course I'm going to get upset when you crown them all throughout the summer and now they're showing their true colors. So that's why I was upset after the Eagles lost. That's why. You have your answer now. All right, you guys, follow your boy on Instagram, Gerard John1991. That's J-A-R-R-O-D-J-O-H-N-1991. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.